It's sports frenzy. <laughs> time again we bring to you season seven episode 29 of the sports frenzy picks edition coach cole here with my partner in crime on the other end of the network there in holland michigan mr jamie rose everybody it is what's up brother rose not How's it going? much not much ready for the weekend how's life in holland uh, it's cold today, but that still doesn't stop the shorts. <laughs> the shorts still got to be rocking. Now, you threw your knee and like your leg up, and they, they were like not knee length. Are you wearing short shorts, Rose? No. <laughs> I'm not as flexible as I used to <laughs> back when I was a hurdler. You gotta keep it appropriate on the show. They gotta be at least knee length, man. Oh, knee they length. are. They are. When I stand up, well, actually, it's fingertip, at fingertip length. And I remember that because in high school, I remember the the principal being like, "Is that is that skirt fingertip length?" And they had to do this. And, oh, yep, it is. You're good. <laughs> now, you guys can look back on the frenzy page. Rose posted a picture of it, but. Uh, you can see what his track shorts looked like and see if they were short or not. I might have tracks, to re, I'll have to repost that here. I'll do it actually right now. For Are track shorts short rows? Do they have to be short? Do they have to be? Or were they? Did you run in short shorts? Well, I had short shorts, but I had uh, short spandex under them. <laughs> because I refused. Because it was kind of funny. My my underwear was actually longer than the short shorts. <laughs> so I was trying to figure out how to say that in, the, in a PG kind of a way. So. Right, right, right. All right. <laughs> well, it was uh, true fact. Well, maybe true fact. But it is the Fab Five of Michigan who introduced long shorts into basketball. Prior to then, there was, if you look back on all the guys, they're fairly short. Mm -hmm, they were. And it which cracks me up because those guys, they're so tall anyway, and their long legs look even longer in those short shorts. 
Um, this episode of Sports Frenzy brought to you by Short Shorts, in case you're wondering why we're talking so much about it. I really have no reason why we're talking about Short Shorts, but <laughs> I thought I'd turn it into a commercial. <laughs> Short shorts. All right, we're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm posting this picture, which I'll show everybody here in one second, so the people who don't who aren't, can't see it on Facebook can see this. Um, the, but the, the it's, it's hashtag Throwback Thursday hashtag Short Shorts. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. All right, I'll show you guys here in one second here so you guys can see a very young Jamie Jamie. Jamie Jamie now? I'm <laughs> that was his name back in the day. Back when he was a runner, it was Jamie Jamie. <laughs> Look at that expression on his face, folks. <laughs> That's the face of determination. There's the short shorts. Jamie Jamie. Jamie Jamie. <laughs> and actually, uh, this is Clinton's track, actually. It's funny. So there, there's the lovely image of me running. What were you better at, track or uh, hockey? Um. <laughs> well, the problem with hockey was it was the most I ever did was the city hockey league. Oh, okay. So it was never like I was like, it was never like a, a high school sport. No, no. Uh, but if I had to put my the street finger, hockey out on the corner. No what? No street hockey out in the corner. Oh yeah, yeah. I play a lot of street hockey. I, I probably say street hockey, but when you're only playing with not Steve. that many, <laughs> not that many guys. Yeah, you know. Yeah, Steve and yeah. Steve uh, out there. <laughs> track. I was average. I think if I had longer legs, I would have been a better track runner or a better hurdler. Uh, definitely the one ten hurdles was my strongest race. Yeah. I had firsts and. My senior year, I had a lot of, uh, um, it was between me and this uh, other guy. We alternate between getting first and second. So it depended on how tired he was. and From the same school as you or yeah. your competition? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, he was a freshman and I was a senior. Oh, man. You let a freshman. But he, he was taller than me, so. <laughs> how many, what's your record for knocking down hurdles? All of them. <laughs> you knocked down all of them before. I was I was in uh, 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 doing uh, run through and practice, and I didn't have my steps right. So I was literally like I, I clip every single one of them. And the girls, uh, I won't say his name, but there were uh, girls. The girls' high school coach, which I'm sure Julie probably knows who I'm talking about, uh, came over and yelled at me. You, don't you knock down my hurdles don't you knock down my hurdles in the back of my head I'm thinking like they're hurdles they're meant to be knocked down like you know, it's not not like I was breaking them or something so but anyways so, Julie knows who I'm talking about I'm sure last night while the Tigers were getting smoked on TV they had uh, a thing called know your Tigers so tonight was know your Jamie Jamie <laughs> yeah, there you go yes Jamie, Jamie. It will always now be Jamie, Jamie. <laughs> That's right. But. All right. With that being said, guys, we know how uh, we've already <laughs> taken up a lot of time here. But uh, we know how you guys like. Some of you like to jump into the picks right away, and we try to be helpful with that these days. Although last couple of weeks we haven't been very helpful with that. But oh, well. Oh. We like to talk, and then suddenly when we get to uh, frenzy talk, we seem to forget everything we want to talk about. So. Oh, what do we want to talk about? Oh, I don't remember. Uh, something. We got to start writing this stuff down or something, man. All right, let's get into some picks for you guys this week's games. We are starting you off this week with Seam. Saw so, Minor League Baseball is what I meant to say. All right, so we have the – oh, this is a oh, – yeah. Gosh, that's new. We have sound effects for the show. <laughs> We've never had those before, Tim. I know. You're the first time for everything. <laughs> <laughs> so I might as well start off right here for you guys. We'll do the song. Hey, take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the park. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jack. 
I don't care if we ever get back. So it's root, root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. Play ball! Play ball! Hey, and we're starting off with some white caps action for you guys. We are. This game is uh, tonight. For those watching on Facebook, it'll be Friday. Um, Facebook Live, I should say. Uh, this game is at six thirty. You can also check it up. Check it out, man. I'm the one who can't talk tonight. On the MILB TV network, you can also listen to these guys on one hundred seven point five. Is it that I say? Seven one hundred seven point five or one hundred seven point nine. It's uh, WBBL up in Jamie's Holland area. Or you can also check it out on um, TuneIn Network. To give you a little heads up before you go into this game, the Whitecaps, I believe, are on a six-game winning streak. Woohoo! hoo Whitecaps are always good, man. They've, they're a pretty amazing team. And I'll tell you why that is. Because they get a lot of the up-and-coming Tigers. It's really... The team's made up of a lot of new kids coming in. So um, <laughs> let's hope they can do better than the struggling Tigers right now, that's for sure, who lost again today. Yes, they did. Thursday night. Um, anyway, so the Michigan Whitecaps, your Michigan Whitecaps, they have uh, 12 wins and 8 losses, and they are traveling. They're on the road this weekend. They are playing the Lake County Captains, and uh, they have eight wins and 11 losses. And I I said to Jamie when he first gave me these picks this week, I said, is this, is this a typo? Sure you, I, did you look at this? Because I didn't have to get out any minor league teams or make any logos this week. It's the same teams. And he's like, yeah, yeah, it's the same games this week. So... Uh, what do we got with that, Rose? Was it opposite last week? Were they playing a different, a different part? Uh, last week, yes. Uh, uh, Whitecaps were home. Okay. And the next team, uh, the Pigs were home, and they will be away this week. Okay. So kind of. So they just I, kind I, of flip flopped. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. I haven't really, you know, I know series go two or three games sometimes, but I've never seen them go back to back like we. Well, like the Whitecaps. Uh, earlier this week, we were playing the uh, Tin Caps. Oh, okay. So it's kind of like they played, uh, they were home against the Captains last week. Then they played the the Tin Caps. Now they're away now. So, But you know who Tim and I have got. That's right. Let's hear it. Your West Oh, I like the way that sounds. Next up, also, oh, this is a Saturday game, 5.05 p.m., and you can watch it on uh, the MILB TV. TV. The 10 wins and 8 losses, Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs. Uh, I know on your sheets it says uh, pig or iron, I believe. I couldn't fit uh, everything well. into that line. So it's the it's the Iron Pigs. Next versus nine wins, eight losses. Your Toledo Buddies. Nice intros. You know we have the. Some uh, lots of gaming going on in Toledo this weekend. Uh, it's, I believe the uh, walleye are at home too this week. Are they not? Do we have a walleye game on here this week? No, I'm not sure. Um, and while we're talking, actually, I will look that up real quick. I know the Griffins. I'm sure they are. The the I walleye, know they are. Uh, to give you a little they, update real quick, um, walleye closed out the series with. Um, uh, Kalamazoo. Tough uh, spirits, too. K-Wings were very challenging for them. Yes. Um, 
And so, um, I believe it was Wednesday night that happened. So that's the reason why uh, we don't have any walleye on here. The Griffins also closed out their series. And um, they don't have their first game till uh, I believe it's May 3rd, I believe, is their first game. Oh, wow. Um, so, yeah, they have a few few games off here. Um, yes, they actually play tonight, or yes, tonight, uh, Friday, April 28th uh, at Toledo. And it is the Fort Wayne Comets versus the Toledo Walleye. So, but this... Uh, it's going to be busy down that neck of the woods. Yes, it will be. I couldn't get it on the sheets in time, so that's the reason oh. why we don't have that. So. Oh, that's fine. I just... I, I could have swore last night I heard on the news that they were playing, so I wanted to give them a shout-out anyway. Yep. Yep. So, uh, moving into Major League Baseball. Uh, the... Uh, this is a uh, Friday night game, 7, 10 p.m. Fox Sports Detroit for you guys. The 11 wins, night lo nine losses, the Chicago White Sox versus the 11 wins, eight losses. Now the nine losses because they lost. Oh, they lost today. You're right. Yep. So 11 wins, nine losses. Your Detroit Tigers. You know, Tim and I have got the. That's right. Going Tigers. They're struggling right now. They've got injuries galore. They got. They had uh, last night. Came did I watch? Why today's Thursday? Filming wise, so I watched the Tuesday night game. Tuesday night, they have five guys on injured reserve right now, and they had uh, five different guys in the roster. So. Um, it worked for them that first night when they got a 19 to nine win, and then after that it's been all downhill. So, anyhow, moving right along, our next baseball game is uh, a tonight game, Friday night game, 7:05 is our uh, start time. The 13 wins and six losses, the Baltimore Orioles. And they are traveling to the 11 wins and 7 losses, the New York Yankees. Those dang Yankees. I'm going with Baltimore. I'm going with Baltimore also. Next up, Saturday, 4.05 p.m. on Fox Sports 1, uh, or FS1. Is it Fox Sports 1? It's it? FS1 now. FS1, I'm sorry, FS1. Well, F wait a minute, it's, yeah, it's FS1. Okay, FS1. Like F Fox Sports Detroit is just FSD now. Uh, FS1, uh, 12 wins, 8 losses, the Chicago Cubs defending World Series champs versus the 11 wins, 8 losses, the Boston Red Sox. I'm going with the Cub or the yep the Cubs. I think I'm gonna try the Boston Red Sox. Ooh. All right. I think they're going to build on the momentum of the Boston Celtics right now and maybe get it done. Um, and our last Major League Baseball game of the week is a Saturday game, 7-15 on FS1. We have the 12 wins and one loss. Wait, is that right? No, sorry. I'm not even looking at the right one. It's not even either. It's 10 wins and 12 losses. Don't know where I got 12 and 1 at. The L, the non-existent, according to Roger Schoonover, L.A. Angels. And they are traveling to the 9 wins and 12 losses. The 
Yeehaw! Texas Rangers. Did I spell Texas right? Yeah. Okay. For a while oh, there, yeah. I was doing Texas. Yeah, yeah. No, it's spelled right now. You've got it totally correct, Rose. All right. I'm going with the non-existent LA Angels. Um, yeah. With that record, I'm going with the Angels as well. All right, moving into NLL Lacrosse. This is a Friday night game, 7.30 p.m., and you can watch it on NLLTV.com. We have the 12 wins, 4 losses, the Georgia Swarm. Oh, no. No. <laughs> Versus the six wins, ten losses, the Rochester Nighthawks. Is it safe to come out? It is. <sighs> I've got the swarm. Ah, uh, yeah. Give me the swarm. All right. Swarm. Next up, we have a uh, Friday night game tonight, 9.30 p.m. on the NLL.TV or NLLTV.com network. Um, we have the eight or the eleven wins and five losses. The rush. the sketch one rush, and they are traveling to the nine wins and eight losses. The Colorado Mammoth. I've got the rush. I've got to go with the rush as well. Your last NLL game is on Saturday, 7 p.m. on NLLTV.com. The eight wins and nine losses, the Vancouver Stealth. Versus the eight wins, nine losses, the New England Black Wolves. <laughs> Your cat perk up for that? Yeah, she did. <laughs> My cat. She's trying to doze off, and all of a sudden I look at her, and her ears are like. And her eyes are all big, like, what the? <laughs> You're okay. Go back to sleep. Oh, boy. I, just because they have home field advantage, I'm going Black Wolves. Sounds good to me. <laughs> but hold on. That's not the end of lacrosse. It is not. We M are L L lacrosse now. Right, not N, M. So if you remember, we I think we talked about this, NLL lacrosse is indoor lacrosse. MLL lacrosse is outdoor lacrosse. Yes. And I believe the outdoor lacrosse goalies uh, pads are smaller. Yes. I believe the indoor lacrosse, their goalies are, it's almost like hockey equipment, it looks like. Yeah, they're heavily padded. The guys, they're not as heavily padded for the outdoor lacrosse. Yep. So that's a little bit of a difference between MLL and NLL. Also, I th isn't the uh, goals bigger? For outdoor lacrosse? Uh, yeah. I don't think so. I think they're about the same size. Okay. They're uh, not so huge. They're, they're smaller than hockey goals. 
Which is so, funny for the indoor lacrosse than for the goalies to be so heavily padded. I, I it must have something to do with like ricocheting and things like that. I don't know. I don't know either. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm wondering too. It might be that the the outdoor lacrosse goalie can move around more than the indoor lacrosse goalie. Maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah. I will have to uh, ask our editor in chief about that, Isaac Cole. He might know the answer to that one, being that he's a lacrosse man. I almost went to a lacrosse match. My uh, um, cousin's son plays for uh, Grand Granville High School, oh, well. and cool. uh, uh, my wife and I already had prior engagements that night. Uh, but I, we may. Go check one out in May, because uh, they're playing here in Holland. So, hey, check out one in May. Yeah, I I'm trying to well because they they sent us dates and we said oh this one works and then all of a sudden she's like oh wait they canceled that one so I gotta check real quick. On yeah, that. You, you like it. It's it's an interesting sport. Definitely. Very. It it can be slightly confusing until you learn some of the rules because it's just like oh my gosh you know. Well, because it's a combination of soccer, isn't it? Like like there's only some players that can move. Right. There's only some guys that can cross both sides. Yeah, it's got some soccer similarities. Basically, the whole thing. It. Um, I mean, it started as an old Native American game. Is hmm. what it was. They used uh, sticks and rocks and were a lot more violent, I believe. And I think sometimes fought to the death or something, maybe. <laughs> well, it's a good thing for our children nowadays that that's no longer the rules, I guess, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's not the Hunger Games. So. <laughs> <laughs> so our first game is the... Uh, is uh, Friday night, no, Saturday night, sorry, 6 p.m., and these guys, I, we don't appear to have anything for them as far as TV networks or anything goes yet. Not but yet. We'll do some research on that for you guys, see what we can find out. Um, but they have, we have the Denver Outlaws, oh, excuse me, Ooh. Jamie missed every single shot tonight. I was gonna say, I'm like, man, I'm missing it. Um, one to z one, one to zero, one win and zero losses, and they are traveling to the New York Lizards. I, I really couldn't even hear that, but <laughs> it was a licking sound. Okay, might have to. It sounded a little bit like a, uh, I don't know, like a paintbrush, or you were sharpening a knife, or. <laughs> well, it's like a lick, and then it's like a chewing sound. Okay. I don't know how what what other sounds a lizard makes. Right. Anyway, the New New York Lizards, they have one win and zero losses as well. Started the season last week, so I'm going with the Lizards because they have home field advantage. Who was last year's champion? Do we even know? No. One, give me one sec. Um, still deciding here for myself. Uh. Uh. 
I think I'll go with the lizards too. Um, was the Denver Outlaws? <laughs> I think I'll go with the Denver Outlaws. <laughs> that was last year's champion in MLL lacrosse. Go with the Denver Outlaws. The championship though. game was played August twentieth, twenty sixteen. Uh, against the Ohio Machine versus the Denver Outlaws. I don't have a score, though. That's fine. I'm going with the Denver Outlaws. All right. I'm still going with the Lizards. Uh, next up, the uh, Saturday, 7 p.m. The... Do one second. Let me find my... All right. Um, one win, zero losses. The Boston Cannons. <laughs> versus the zero wins, one loss, the Atlanta Blaze. Does that sound like popcorn? No, no, it's, it, that sounds pretty much like crinkling paper or fire. <laughs> I'm going with Boston. Yeah, same here. All right. And your last MLL lacrosse game is also a Saturday game, 7 p.m. We have the zero wins and zero losses, the Rochester Rattlers. And they are traveling to and playing the zero wins and one loss, the Florida Launch. This is one of my favorite sound effects. Nicely done. I'm going with the launch just because I love that sound effect. I'm going with uh, I'm going with Rochester just because they haven't played yet. All right. Moving into arena football. But first, at the tone, please turn your page. I, I lost it. I was like, ah, where is it? I almost, I almost hit this. <laughs> Tonight's episode, folks, is being brought to you again by Juicy Juice Brand Juice, one of my favorite brands of juice. Well, my only favorite, my only brand of juice. Orange Tangerine, one of my favorite blends. Also, check out the white grape. Good stuff, folks. Uh, essential vitamins for you as well. And covers your fruit intake. <laughs> and also brought to you by Gap. Get all your Gap merchandise at Gap.com. <laughs> that was the only thing I could come up with that I haven't already covered. <laughs> uh, Arena football. Uh, Arena Football! Uh, I gotta... You and I look so different in that video. <laughs> yeah, we do, yeah. <laughs> what was your hair? I'm trying to remember. It was growing out, wasn't it? It was longer, but I was also a lot bigger. <laughs> and I was a lot younger. And a lot <laughs> thinner. <laughs> trying, probably my hair was similar to it. Uh, your hair is always the same. <laughs> you you don't change your hair much unless you like shave it like you do. <laughs> I've never changed my hair that much. That's the most I've ever done with my. Uh, back when I actually had well, like I have right now, but I still couldn't right now. I used to gel it. But anyways, enough fashion talk. Uh, this is Friday night, seven p.m. One win, one loss. The Washington <laughs> Valor. Versus the zero wins, three losses, the Cleveland Gladiators. Well, 
as Jimmy said them on the sheet, the Gladiators of Cleveland. <laughs> Either way, I'm going with Washington. Yes. That was kind of my thought too. And with a zero and three record, it's they didn't they weren't worthy of a full name, so <laughs> All right, up next we have a, another Saturday game for you guys, uh, 7 p.m., and you can watch this one on CBS Sports. We have the one win and one loss. One of our new teams, the Baltimore Brigade. They are traveling to and playing the two wins and zero losses. The the Philadelphia. I love that one. Nice. So I've got the. have the the Philadelphia Philadelphia. moving into soccer Uh oh soccer is back again everybody we have uh, Friday night 7.30 p.m. the four wins Two losses, one tie, the Houston Dynamo. Versus the two wins, one loss, four ties, Toronto FC. And I'm sure someone notices last week's sheets and this week's sheets. Last week's sheets, I put six wins, one, uh, one loss, one tie. The way they do it on their website is they put the first number is the games played. So I saw that number and I just wrote down six. So that was a typo on my fault. So uh, Toronto FC, which FC again stands for football club, is actually two wins, one loss, four ties is the correct number. So I apologize to everybody. I will call myself out on that one. So if you... And we should have said that on the recap show for you guys, but we'll give everybody a point for that game because we didn't know. <laughs> so we messed it up. So everybody gets a point for that game this past week. Okay. It doesn't change you or I at all, does it? Uh, Just gives us a point because we probably both chose the same team or we both didn't choose the same team. Well, I ch yeah, yeah, so. So I ended well, up with 16 either way, ended it gives with 14. Us, yeah, either way it gives us both a point. Yeah, which, or no. Well, anyways. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> so now Jamie's got that figured out for you guys. It will never, ever happen again. <laughs> Again! I'm not perfect. I'll, I try to get it accurate, but... We don't follow soccer that much. Soccer is like our new uh, NASCAR. <laughs> Only we're not making fun of it. <laughs> we don't flip a coin. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot about those days. I'm going with Houston. Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> I'm going with Houston also. <laughs> I think we went as far as to put, like, what? Kyle and Kurt Stains in a hat and pull them out, too. <laughs> Probably, yeah. <laughs> well, didn't we do something with the whiteboard behind me, too? Didn't like I write, like, Kyle, 
Bush, you had to pick number one, number two. Yes, yes. We did. All the like, highlight days. I'll have to see if I can find some of those. Because my... kind of, it is Throwback Thursday for those uh, watching live. So, yes, we'll have to find a video for you guys to check out from those classic moments. <laughs> I'll see if I can find one of those. Uh, I don't remember when that was. We have a second soccer game for you guys this week. Jamie put two. This is a Saturday game, 3 p.m. We have the two wins, four losses, and one tie. The Vancouver Whitecaps. Ooh. Not to be confused with the other Whitecaps. They're traveling to and playing the one win, two losses, and four ties. The, the Montreal Impact. I, I'm going with white caps just because it reminds me of the uh, West Michigan white caps. I'm going to go with Vancouver because I'm not really seeing what kind of impact Montreal's having right now. Ooh. <laughs> Moving into NHL. What intro do you want this week, Tim? We're only doing one. We have NHL, NBA, or NASCAR. Pick your points. We'll do NASCAR. Do NASCAR. Okay. All right. First up, first uh, NHL game. I got to find this. This. Ooh. And that's your three point bonus game. It's your first three three point bonus game. It's your first three three point bonus game. It's your first three point bonus game. Yes, it is. This is a Friday, 8 p.m., and you can watch this game on N NBCSN. We have the 41 wins, 29 losses, 12 overtime loss. The Nashville Predators, they're playing the 46 wins, 29 losses, 7 overtime loss. The St. Louis Blues. You guys but know who I got. Help. I've got, dinner, dinner. I've got, dinner, dinner. I've got those St. Louis blue, 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 blues. Oh yeah, baby. Tim, jump the gun. Just so you guys know, the uh, records for the next, the playoff records for the next four games will be different. I had to get the sheets out last night. They did play last night. The Predators won last night, so the Predators are up one game to none. But it's still early in the ser series, so um, so I've still got the Blues, oh those St. Louis Blues. I also have to go with the Blues, dun 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 dun, dun cuz I learned my lesson, dun 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 dun, dun <laughs> to never go against Tim's Blues, That's dun dun right. dun dun. That's right. All right. And our second, oh, the heck yeah, you get to do this. This is all you, man. Hockey's all you this week. My squeaker game of the week. What's your current record, Rose? Eight and twenty. Eight and twenty. So not great. Struggling this season. Yep. Um, these two teams are East Coast teams. Um, they have not played yet. They're playing tonight, which it's a little early, I believe, for the game has not started yet. Um, the Capitals have Ovechkin, and the Penguins have Crosby. Um, but this is not tonight's game. No, no, I'm sorry. No, they're playing tonight, but then uh, this next game is actually a Saturday game. Thursday so. night for those watching at uh, yep. Facebook land. Yep. Um, so we don't know who wins this. So when you guys watch this video on Friday, quick look up who won uh, tonight, Thursday. Um, but uh, I think it's going to be a, a tough, tough-fought series. 
Um, so see, I didn't even have to ask him this week. He's just justifying it already. Who his pick is? Without I've I've learned my lesson, Tim. <laughs> um, so, anyways, uh, this is Saturday, eight p.m., and you can watch it on NBC. The fifty wins, twenty one losses, eleven overtime loss. The Pittsburgh Penguins versus the fifty five wins, nineteen losses. Eight overtime loss, the Washington Capitals. I'm going with the Capitals. They have home ice advantage, and I believe they're hungry for a Stanley Cup win. If Rose is going with the Capitals, that's good enough for me. I'll go with the Capitals as well. All right. Moving into some NBA basketball action Oh No, I can't find it, of course. I had to call a timeout because I was running up and down the court shooting hoops and I didn't have any. <laughs> I see cat ears. <laughs> you have a cat and I have a cat tonight, Tim. Yes, there is the cat. Miko. Meet the frenzy nation, Miko. Miko? Miko, yes. Miko meet Mimi. <laughs> Mimi looks impressed. See Nico? Nico would rather I just pet him right now. Yeah, it's probably Mimi too. See, watch. I'll do this. Mimi actually looks not happy. She probably would prefer to be sitting on my lap getting pets. Say Mimi looks a little on the grumpy side. <laughs> no. Josh, I think she's watching Nico now. <laughs> Anyways, enough of, enough cat talk here. <laughs> uh, moving into NBA action. Um, we have the this is an eight o'clock game being played Friday night tonight on ESPN. We have the fifty three wins, twenty nine losses. The my Boston Celtics, who come off a big win last night, which that does change. The uh, series, Tim. The uh, yes. Celtics are now up three games to two. Whoa. Who's texting me? <laughs> I have no idea. Who texts during Sports Frenzy? <laughs> um, we are, and they are traveling to the 41 wins and 41 losses. Roses, Chicago Bulls, and this series is... Boston leads at three to two now. Yeah, I'm going with Boston. I'm going with Boston also. Whatever I did with my pen. El Pluma. Wait a minute. Did you say you're going with Boston? I did. You're actually going with Boston over I, your. I, I think Boston's going to close out the series. Wow. I don't always go with the Bulls. I just thought you would in, this, in a series like this. It's your team, man. <laughs> anyway, moving right along. And that's your three-point bonus Three points! Three points! It's your three point bonus time! Yeah! Yeah! This is me or you? Oh, this is me. Um, this is you, man. This is Friday night, 10 30 p.m. on ESPN. The 51 wins, 31 losses. The L.A. non-existent Clippers, according to uh, Roger Schoonover, versus the 51 wins, 31 losses. The Utah Jazz. The Jazz have battled back and are actually, um, who were they last week? 
Um, because I think we had them. Clippers, Jazz. Uh, the series was tied one game apiece. I believe they were down uh, two to one. So now the Jazz have overtaken the Clippers, and they're up three games to two. I'm going with the Jazz because uh, Blake Griffin, uh, I think I said his last name right, is um, out for the rest rest of the playoffs. And I still have uh, the Jazz this week as well. Okay, I have the Jazz also. So you're still going to be able to fit our NASCAR intro in here, right? We're good. This race is coming to you from, uh, actually, we raced on Sunday with, like always, like with NASCAR, pending rain and weather, uh, coming to you at 2 p.m. on Fox, and the racetrack is Richmond International Raceway. I'm sticking with Kyle Larson. And I'm sticking with uh, Kyle Bush. Kyle Larson. All right. And uh, give us the, uh, can you give us the NASCAR standings right now? Yes. Top, I, at least yep. top five. Yes. Give me one second to pull it up here. The Browns are planning on taking Miles Garrett with the number one pick tonight. Um, sorry. Oh, my no. gosh. We haven't even talked about that. Yes. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to get the show done early tonight because it's the draft. So, Jamie and I will be posting uh, draft um, results as they happen tonight, hopefully. Uh, do do, all right. We have Brad Kowalski, 277 points, two wins. Jimmy Johnson, 244 points, two wins. Kyle Larson, 360 points, one win. Martin Truex Jr., 323 points, one win. Ryan Newman, fifth, uh, 186 points, one win. Uh, Kurt Busch, 163, one win. Chase Elliott, 333 points, no wins. Joey Logano, 291. Jamie McMurray, 244. And Clint Bauer is 239. Those are your top 10 drivers. I would be on the Call of Duty right there, Tim. <laughs> Good work, Rose. Good work. Yes. Um, and that does it for your pick. Oh, no, it doesn't. Wait. We have wrestling talk. Because it's a pay-per-view. It's the exciting WWE payback. Stay tuned to Frenzy Talk. Yes, you have to follow us over to Frenzy Talk to get your wrestling. 